Hello, it's Michelle Morand here, and what you're about to see is a snippet of my interview with Dr. Rizal Kurzrock. Dr. Kurzrock is known as one of the 25 most influential people in the world in the field of precision medicine. She also has over 800 medical science publications to her name. She founded one of the most advanced clinical trial facilities at MD Anderson and now runs her own department of University California San Diego in the field of precision cancer medicine and bioinformatics. The full interview link is in the discussion, but what you're about to see is specific to certain key elements of cancer treatment that I believe every patient needs to understand. And you're hearing it from one of the world's most respected individuals. So I hope you enjoy this little snippet of my interview. And if you'd like to talk with me further about how we can help you get access to some of the things we're talking about in this snippet, please just reach out. One of the things to keep in mind as a cancer patient is your doctor is always doing their best for you with the information they have available. So what we're talking about here today is helping them to have more information, something more precise and stratified for you. So a lot of times your doctor might tell you this is the, this is the best treatment for you. And what they're really saying is based on the information I have right now, this is absolutely the best that I can offer you. It doesn't mean that that is the best treatment possible for you right now. And it takes that genomic testing data and a program like CureMatch to actually have the confidence that you're getting the right treatment. No, I, I agree. And I think you've hit the nail on the head. This produces um, uh, more accurate, better information. That is the bottom line. And fast. This is what I just keep, I'm, I'm so excited about because as you, as you keep talking, it's impossible for one person to analyze all the possible data, even for one person. Um, and uh, certainly when we first started, Alex and his research team were, were doing this, uh, this is 12 years ago, but we were doing this all manually. So I, it would be you know, 30 plus hours per person that we would take to go through the most current journals and all the data and cross analyze all the other possible permutations that you could do in that amount of time. Um, and even then, yes, I'm sure options were left on the table simply because we didn't have access to all of that information or that time. So it's pretty exciting that, you know, because genetic testing as a rule takes three to six weeks, depending on what kind of test you're doing from the time the facility receives your, your sample, whether it's tumor or blood, um, so another couple of days after that data is back and you can have something that's even more personalized for your doctor to act on.